right, all right, all right, all right. It's another day that the Lord has kept me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I just want to know, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. How y'all doing over there? It's another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me from all danger. He has kept me from all harm. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Today. We're doing well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless. Well, how you doing over there, cousin? He's shaking his head. Yes, I'm doing fine. And son, how you doing? I'm doing great. Does this son have his camera ready? Do I need to switch cameras over here? I don't need a camera. <laughs> he said, I don't need a camera. Just give me the money. I don't need to be seen. Yes, darling. We have <laughs> to see that face, darling. So, well, it's He's going to give you a microphone for now. A microphone? So just another day. And I just want to say to you that are listening and watching, you know, thank you for tuning in to Wednesday's Woman. I am your host, Miss Crystal Davis Wells, Lady Crystal. And I have, thank you, praise the Lord, I have founded such a thing as a Wednesday's Woman as a title or I would say, I don't know, maybe early to middle 2000s that the, the name Wednesday's Woman came to me as the, on the level of a phenomenal woman, the woman that owns and wears many hats. She can do it, call her up in the midnight hour, she's ready, she's not fussing and complaining. She's like, all right, all right, you need me? All right, you know. She's just able to get it done, the fix-it woman, praise God, that praying woman, you know, the woman that's not going to, Just turn you down hungry or cold. She'll give you a few dollars if she has it. So that's the woman that we portray, and we give honor to those women who actually wear those hats. And we also look to have those women on our show, praise the Lord. So as we're pointing over here to Sister Knox, and this bad old black hat she got on, praise the Lord. We're going to let it be known. She is a Wednesday's woman, praise the Lord. She sticks by her man because they're in ministry together. They're a team, praise the Lord. That's right. And that's what it's taken these days. If we didn't know it prior to now, that's what it's taken. And if you can find yourself a good team, you know, develop a, a pattern of, of being a regular. Because the more you show up, the more you get involved, the more responsibility will be given to you. And you will be recognized and blessed and sometimes immediately things begin to open up and fall upon you. You have no idea. You know, as I played the, played the music for my radio show earlier today, it was like suddenly God's going to turn it around. So you've got to be ready and willing at all times to receive and give. So now we do have some more music. Now, are you plugged into the system, son? Is your system? Okay. He's bobbing his head. So, yes, our topic today is music. Yeah, if you can plug into the system, plug into the system. Our topic today is music in the sense, in the form of uh, good music uh, versus uh, not so good music. And, you know, music that has a good connotation uh, versus that that has not a good connotation. So we want our viewers and our listeners to be aware of what they're listening to and knowing who is producing this music. We were in a meeting today. There was a song back in the day. It says, don't you know if you dance to the music, mm -mm -mm, you got to pay the piper or something like that. So in other words, whoever's music you're dancing to, that's, you know, who you're going to owe your dancing soul to. (laughs) You understand? So we got to watch whose music is being piped and 
coming through our ears and ending up. You know, now I had a list of songs and CDs that I had, you know, brought to bring. I mean, I had brought to bring. Wow. I had brought so I could play here on the show. But they're locked up in the studio next door, and the man over there is having a jamming <laughs> good time, and I can't get in. So my CDs and some of my pictures and things are over there, but it's okay. My clothes are over there. You know, all <laughs> the stuff I was going to do to kind of spruce myself up, it's over there. So you guys know, whenever you come to my show, it's always going to be something. But it's always a good thing, because you know what? Do you see this smile? Baby, it is a million-dollar everlasting smile because I'm really happy. And genetically, it's there. It's a Davis thing, too. You understand? I'm going to let you now, finish, but... Oh, my son is... <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. No, darling, go ahead. Just go ahead. You know, my children, they tell me, Mama, you know, you act like a child. Mama, just Mama, you just clear this up. I was <gasps> clapping because she forgot her stuff. That's good. <gasps> and they, I got some joiners to join in and clap Wait, with me. I think, I think you guys are too much. <laughs> I think I have some makeup. Maybe I can spruce up my lips and stuff yeah, and spruce up my hair. Yeah, listen. Yeah, but listen, yeah. do you have the music ready? If you can play, I don't know if you can play. Laurent, can it play? Check, check and see. Play. If I push play, what do you think it'll play? Through the system? Just, I don't think I'm so. trying to find something. Oops, I found something. I don't think so. Are you, pr- pressing, pr- are you pressing play? It's, it's on play the, on here. Well, give us something. It's playing on here, but okay. Well, Laurent, it's, not, it's like a, some kind of play number three of my song. We'll listen to me right now until we get this together, and yeah. then we'll give them an opportunity. This is what producers do when they're coming into a new studio. This is his first time in this studio, but he will be in training as a part of the production team here, and so I'm glad this is happening on my show. <laughs> Let you all know there's a training situation going on. But I tell you what, we've got the pastor and his and his wife in the house. I'm going to turn it over to them. Leron, can you put this on Pastor Knox and uh, Sister Knox so they can go head on and bring some word? Do you need any more light? I had the lighting, you know, just kind of. That's beautiful. Yeah, I see that. Okay, go ahead and give us some word, and I'm going to doctor up my face a little bit. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you, Lady Crystal, for having us here on your show for the second time here. Well. Say God bless everyone that's here in the studio. Amen. Pray that the Lord move his do here, which is his spirit, that we may be moved by his glory and his spirit. For we know that this day is to lift up the Lord because he gave us another day to mm-hmm. give him praise. So all in all, I want to thank God for what he's doing in the music industry, that he's moving among the young people, and they are coming up with some some good tracks that's... Uh, is uh, doing some great things out here for each and every one of us. Um, I have a lot of youngsters that I'm around. Um, As we know that I'm on various shows, um, been with the Trinity Broadcast Network. Mm -hmm. And my most blessed moment is to see the young people reaching out you know, doing something positive in their life. Exactly. You, you understand, Crystal? Exactly. exactly. And um, the things what I see is that sometimes they might not get into the basketball field or mm-hmm. other sports that we might, but music is a gift that's given from God, too. And I thank God because I was raised up in music all my life. Mm. I'm a son of legendary Eugene Knox. And most people know him by the song Carmelita, Miss You, 1965. Oh, ooh, see, that my cousin and Johnny Morris. I'm going to say two. Go to the keyboard. Oh, you want me to go to the keyboard there. and find you a beat? Uh, no. Find I, you a tune. <laughs> my son plays, too. So, son, you know. So, I, I just seen music, music in a lot of ways, <laughs> you know, just, just circulate, circulate in different hands. And, mm-hmm. and the youngsters now that some of the input that I listen to, I might not agree with everything that, you know, come out for what they send, but a lot of it I listen to is edifying. It's yeah. moving. Yeah. Some you of know, them you can't get uplifting. an edifying message from. And some of them, like, say, the rapper Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Now, during the time when they were big, I was totally not into any of that music on the radio. Mm-hmm. 
So I was just, you know, a gospel musician, just listening to gospel music. So then after, you know, their passing and really finding out what was so big about, you know, what was going on, then the children had some of their music. Yes. And I listened to it. And I said, oh, it was like somebody, it was all a dream, you know, about about your Mm -hmm. mama and all that, you know. I, not your mama, but, you know, about his mother, you know, Mama I Wish or something like that. So you can hear the genuine love, the son. This is, like you said, this is somebody's child that goes through all of these things in life, and music has taken them through a lot of things. Yes. So you look at uh, Tupac, you look at the other one, how they came out. They told their story through their music, but it got a little tainted, you know, with everybody Mm -hmm. edging them on and them not getting educated. Through going through that system, they got money quick. They 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 got paid in the situation that this is legal money I'm getting. So wow, you know. Mm-hmm. So they were in a position where I think when you give somebody something, they're not maybe ready for it, and you know. So they they can either do one way or do another way with it. Mm-hmm. So we see the results on their life. But now today's artists, I think they're getting a little more wiser in what they're saying. Yes. Yeah. Who you know what they're saying about and, and everything they're coming to a realization. Hey, we're we're individuals. You know we can't destroy each other in this. So now this this product of music here, this is a gospel music product, mm-hmm. and you know, <laughs> and then they hear what they heard because they heard the Tupac and they heard all of those rappers coming sure up. Um, so I mean I didn't bar them from it. You know some parents. Well, when we were coming up, we couldn't listen to it. We couldn't listen to KGFJ, which was the station. So we were kept from it. We were church people, and that's all we knew. Okay. You know, <laughs> so, but as a certain, you know, after a certain age, you get exposed to things, regardless, your parents can't hide it from mm-hmm. you. So that's what, you know, my children, they, they were exposed to music instruments, musical instruments. They, right. You know, we had keyboards, pianos, drums, bass guitars, guitars, you know. So they, you know, in their beginning life had yeah. music around them. Mm-hmm. And then I'm singing and pregnant and recording and, you know, they have nothing but music. So now what do they do? You know, they do music. So I'm, you know, and this is, as I say, determined, you know, as a mother, and as a musical parent to get that plateau ready for my children. I feel that as a, as a group, you know, we should come up together. You know, mm-hmm. some, some of them, they go out there by themselves and the mother can sing too, but they never really build anything from, from a family element anymore. That family element of music, it, it goes. They take the lead singer and go, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? The Michael Jackson That's story, true. you know. It started as a group, a family, but they took right. him and sh- and the family just sh- goes the other side. I, I'm good at sh- sh- my children talking, Mom, you have so many mouthing ways of expressing myself. But it's, it's just like that. You know, some lives in music is changed instantly. And so these children... They've been able to, you know, gradually come up. Mm-hmm. You know, they say instant it's success, but it's life. been gradually coming up. You know, so you can have a grip, mm-hmm. have a grip on life. Your choices, you know, have some foundation. So this is what our children need. So is anybody ready to play some music? Are you ready? Oops. Yeah. Okay. And I, I did you say did you express yourself enough? But we'll come back to to that. Whatever you have else to say, and I don't know if my cousin's just going to be listening in because you know he's he's a professional. He's probably under a an agreement. He can't speak on other shows and things, so I'm not going to put him on the spot. But he all oh, his voice. Look at that. <laughs> I love it that my cousins, my family. Is showing up and coming together. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce my son, Ready? Mr. Jared Ebunolua Smith.
So that's just a little production I was working on. Um, I don't know. I guess that's pretty much the 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 the, the genre that's going on right now and on, on the radio. And then they got that's something that maybe somebody by the name of Wiz Khalifa might do. Uh, Chief Keith or something like that. Uh, then they also have their beats that's like T Fly kind of style, which is like more R and B. And um, they like to, I guess, classify that as like a ratchet kind of beat, ratchet track or whatnot. Um, there should be a little something right here for you. That's a little something, something right there, a little R&B, um, little feel to it. Um, we got a couple of other things. I don't want to showcase too much, but, uh, you know, I got something I also, you know, stuff that I sample as well. It's going to be a little last little something I play for y'all right here. Mostly I might notice something y'all hear it. <laughs> All right. So that's just a little some some right there as well. It's just a little sample that I put together. So <clears throat> just a few um you know, a few tracks that I display just right there. I got a large quantity, a large variety of sounds and uh different genres that I can produce and make for different artists depending on how you want it, how slow, how fast, what kind of hip hop, R and B, jazz, gospel, whatever the case is. And uh yeah, just that's my main focus right now is uh making um instrumentals uh networking being a you know junior dj Khaled in los angeles and uh expand from there and i uh, pretty much you know get my uh, networking skills up so i can uh you know make a lot of different transactions i guess you can say <laughs> <laughs> but uh follow me on twitter at uh townboy23 t-o-w-n-b-o-y-2-3 <clears throat> and on uh instagram at J got beats, which is J uh, G O T B E A T Z. And uh, I'll gladly follow you back. Just write a message. <laughs> All right, I'm out. They want me to play some <laughs> for an outro, I guess. Uh, let me 
see. This might be cool. I don't know. It's another sample here. So that's that, that's that. <clears throat> so um, anybody need any kind of music, they can always hit me up. Uh, right now I'm going to turn the shirt over to our guest. Um, we want them to have some words. If you got anything on your heart, anything on your mind that you want to display at the moment, the opportunity is now. <laughs> okay, this is Pastor Knox again. Um as I was speaking earlier about the gifts that's given to the young people, I thank God for what he's doing. I'd like to lead in prayer at this very moment, uh, if I can, uh, to, yo- to those out there to receive. Father God, we thank you, Father, for your movement, what you're doing in our lives right now. Father, and I ask you to continue to reach those, Father, that's doing your will, Father. Though we might not seem to be speaking in an area, in some areas that, Uh, one may feel, but we know that all good is coming from you, Father. Anything that you provide for us to do, we know that it's coming from you. So we thank you for moving among our young people and as well as the older people, Father, and we ask you to continue to move that movement. And most of all, we pray that we continue to lift you up in everything what we do, that we may not stumble in our paths as we reach out there in Jesus' name. And I'd like to read a word here, um, if I may. Uh, Is that okay by y'all? Go ahead, go ahead, by all means. You know, when we lift up the Lord in all what we do, um, and it don't matter what we do, um, we just keep him in mind, just give him Mm -hmm. thanks from one day to the next day, and uh, he will bless. I done seen him open up doors and areas, uh, not only in my lives, but other lives that you know, and I'm not talking about that, you know, one claim that, you know, you might have to be holier. Uh, I don't know what's holier than thou. <laughs> I just say thank you. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And and for making my day, I might not line up in some eyes that, that may see uh, in that word or the spiritual word, but I just keep that word near me, and I know that he's going to do what he's going right. to do, right. and he's going to bless. I'm going to come at you from a word here, if I may, and it's Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 17, leading from um, verse 7. And it says here, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, which spreads out the roots by the river. So, as you see, no matter what we do, we don't have to go about lifting up the word of Jesus or God, everything, what we do out there, because he said you already is blessed. When you sing in these songs, when you're going out there and and doing good, those blessings coming from him. So I just want to put that out there and let those know out there that anything good is coming from God, and you don't have to question yourself or uh, what am I doing or try to make yourself do anything because he's going to provide it for you. Amen. You know, if you allow that spirit to come inside of you and that movement to come in you, which is the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you could do anything in the Lord. So I thank God for what he's doing in my life and those that I come around. And I thank you for having me here on the show and my wife here on the show this very moment. And I pray that blessings go Amen. out there uh, for those that's out there that's hearing the the sound of my voice right now. 
you that know, you continue I'm to be prosperous. Ask you to get and three, that's because that that's I didn't I think I ran across that before in Jeremiah. Yeah. And recognized it because I've always known it for Psalms one three. There you go. And then I think one day I found I'm like, oh, you know, uh -huh. so there's a couple of other scriptures like that that you can find. Some reference Old Testament, New Testament. Yeah. But, you know, that's still Old Testament right there. But Jeremiah you, and David uh -huh. saying the same thing. That's a good That's a good thing. But go ahead. Go ahead. Well, see, that you didn't hit it right there. See, he's moving right now. <laughs> see, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All good. Yeah. You know, just flow. And see, now we're coming on one accord because this was my favorite psalm right here, uh -huh, Lady uh -huh. Crystal, uh, Psalms 1-3. And uh, um, you want me to read this out? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely read that, read that. Psalms 1-3 says, yes. he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. It is, confirmation. That brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he and I like to say she too, does shall prosper. And and that is a true thing. Because see, if we just say thank you for the day that we get up uh -huh. and give him that glory, yes. you're going to be blessing everything that you do. Praise the Lord. My son's getting ready to tune that piano up over there. So uh, Now hey, see, he's man. getting on fire over there now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lord. So we might want to Turn the lights up over there. Can you hit those lights over there for me, brother? This one right here. And yeah, and then we're going to um, check out our artwork on the wall. Check out our artwork on the wall here. <laughs> hmm? Is it in the right one? Because I can't hear the keyboard now. Okay, you put it into something that something kills the sound. Which kills the sound? What is that? That's the record that I'm supposed to go out there. Come on, Jason. I'll be a T. Is that good? Cool. Can you hear it? You can hear it, LeBron? So, let's see what I hear. Keep going. Let's see what I hear when you're playing your fingers 
beautiful background again and so delighted to have this as my backdrop and this this kind of if you see it it kind of looks like me you know uh playing the piano you know got a company of thursday's men around here a healing bond retreat so you'll get a chance to come to our studio and see this live in a living color hopefully one day but in the meantime i don't know what you hear but I hear the joy bells ringing in my soul. Joy bells ringing in my soul. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells ringing in my soul. I hear the joy bells ringing in my soul. Can't you hear that? Joy bells ringing in my soul. Joy. Joy bells, joy bells ringing in my soul. Mm, yes, Lord, keeps ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord, keeps ringing in my soul. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keeps ringing in my soul. Hallelujah. Keeps ringing in my soul. Hallelujah. Keeps ringing in my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah keeps ringing in my soul. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord, keeps ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord, keeps ringing in my soul. Yeah, yes, Lord. Yeah, yes, Lord. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, well, I just felt that music joy just rolling all over here as you say. Is that right? Yeah, glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. We're going to keep on rolling. Look at You can't stop over there. Sounding good, too. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. We're going to take another short pause. I'm going to go have a bite to eat. And we have some music over there. Let's just let number five start. And let's see what number five says. And we'll be back. All right. God is good. God is real. All the time. All the time. Here we go again. Well, take this music break and we'll be back.
stark beat on her. Man, that beat sounds so good. What, what was on your mind when you made this song? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, only because this was probably uh, produced about more than seven to eight years ago, maybe. So I just remember being in the studio and just like, man, uh, you know, let me create something right now. And I was kind of thinking about this an artist by the name of uh, Missy Elliott and a producer named Timberland. Yeah. Um, and they worked together like pretty much heavily, like steady and stuff like that throughout the years. And I, I kind of, I guess, got the feeling of that when I make the beat it was just something like that's from back when the uh, clown dancing and crump dancing and all that stuff right. was, was going on and people doing all that you know moving yeah. Harlem shake kind of thing so that's that's where I got that kind of idea from around that time era you know what I mean it pretty much uh, derived out of that time area and, yeah, and that's pretty much like what that. just came up coming like with yeah. beat to it is yeah. like loose and it's like man it's, it's kind of moving I like yeah. that appreciate it man thank you thank you it's a little something something <laughs> you have some other ones that you uh, cut up? Uh, that's on that track. Uh-huh. Uh, I do. I don't know what's on there though, but I'm sure there's another one by the. Uh, can go through them, I guess, and I'll let you know which one is which. Is there any way we can hear that in the studio? Can you can you let it be recorded in the studio? And something like that make me just feel like, you know you just get <laughs> loose with it. And, you know it's like. It's a loose song. It starts static and stuff like that. It's like a Worth. 
what I got, what we got down there. Included all, all brothers like get, it, included together. Yeah. We are an individual uh, production. For a whole, yeah, yeah, for somebody who's never heard it. But the producer knows when it's, you know, it's his song. So they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not feeling it. It's a new day, new time. Are you available to do some production for other people? Some of our viewers may of course. want something produced. Are you available? You say, of course. Of course. How can they reach you? I gave that information prior to you asking this question. Oh, really? But I will rewind it again. Okay, all right, let him know. So, my contact for Twitter, whoever has uh, Twitter on, uh, in, what they call that, social media, uh, you can find me at townboy23, town, like a town, T-O-W-N, boy, B-O-Y, 23, uh, townboy23 on Twitter. Uh, you can also uh, reach me on uh, Instagram, and that's uh, J Got Beats, which is the letter J Got G O T Beats with a Z B E A T Z. That's for Instagram, and um, I'm also on SoundCloud under Town Boy. Uh, I'm pretty much right now in the uh, making of getting a website so I can sell my beats on- online, so people can uh, have to you know do the PayPal and it don't have to be no actual physical. Hey man, throw me this beat. I want this beat too. No, you have to buy it online. Don't ask for no freebies. No more free beats. I ain't doing that with them. So if you really want to beat, pay for it. And if you really love me, you're going to pay for it and help me. And you're going to support me. 100. You already know. Hashtag. Real talk. Right. Yeah, that is, yo. Shout out to All 1500 right. or nothing. You know, Futuristics. The underdogs. All the producers that's 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 out there making it big right now, making making it jump. All right, if the music can keep playing, it's made by Fresh. That's right. That'll be just fine. Our brother and sister have to leave. And we want you to know that it's been a wonderful time with you. And if, yeah, you have any closing remarks? Make sure you let them know something. Let me see her. It's given time. Praise God for you guys. Keep up the good work. And like I say, never give up. Stay faithful. Stay strong. That's right. Do your goals, and He will lead you all. <laughs> In Jesus' name, take care. Amen. God bless. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen, y'all want to be a guest on this show, you can call me or you can call the studio, 323-965-1600. Call the studio, let them know you'd like to be a guest on the show. If you'd like to present your artistry, yeah. spoken words, singing, fashion, modeling, we have it available for you. So we trust God. Connect us, because this is what we're looking for, some godly connections, so we can take this thing to the next level. Now, we have come across a many people, but it's time for us to really show forth the favor that we have right now in the industry. So we're not here to just call names, as my uh, brother Robert was telling me. It can't be name dropping. I'm name dropping, and I'm calling him back to see if we can get this business and work happen in pocket. That's what time it is. What are you name dropping for? Well, because this is who we're getting ready to work with. And people want to be promoted. My son over there. That's right, baby. Yo, listen. Yeah, talk, talk. Sometimes we gotta keep that discreet. Alright? That boy can start jumping first. Okay. Alright. I agree. There are some things that we'll keep discreet. You don't get it. But as it is right now, you just blew it. we're calling for all team workers. We need team mates. We need you to join the family love affair team. 
as many of you have heard me talk about the million dollar team it's about that time it's about those that have the ideas that can create the product that can create the finance and the income we're calling forth you people you yeah. to come to the studio yeah. rmc you yeah. studios right here in los angeles for those of you who are somewhat worldwide in florida in mexico somewhere in the united states outside of the united states and you plan to be visiting come on right here now my tag right here talks about pitbull the energy drink yeah we have that here available for you to taste if you have never tasted it we have this delicious food that i'm sitting here so wonderfully and elegantly eating did i look you have to learn how to eat on film <laughs> and drink. Watch this. So, this is all Brownstones Bistro right here. Brownstones Bistro is where this is all found. If you'd like to attend any of our shows, they're held here inside Brownstones Bistro. RMC Studio. You're watching us, of course, rmconair.com or rmconlive.tv. I know you know about that. You can also check us out on YouTube, rmconair.com. So we want you all to stay tuned and get involved. We have lots of shows coming up for you. And not only Wednesday's Woman, we have Thursday's Man coming. And for, oh, let that roll. I love this one. We're soon going to have our dance class because yeah. I want to learn how to do this. Stepping, you hear this right here? I can step, I can cha-cha, I can do that other one, two, three, one, two, three, ballroom dance in the wall. Hey, y'all listen. The Check minuet. <laughs> so we're going to have those <laughs> yeah, classes listen. here. And you're going to see some things. I'm saying get involved. Isn't that beautiful? This is you just do this the is also off of eight that. years old. I was it's in probably the twelve at the years same old. Studio that same night. It's probably it twelve years old, but it's I had good a rap music. to this song too. My mom was singing like you some kind of opera, yeah, something like that. Like <laughs> it was weird. I dropped the verse on there. You can jump away. You know, I didn't like it though. I was about eighteen or something like that. I think you're younger. Put some, say something now. Show them what you can do. I'm not a rapper. Be a rapper. You could be a songwriter. Yo, I'm not a rapper. Put some words but if you together. Listen to my lyrics. I'm pretty dapper. I'm climbing up like a ladder. Yo, my pockets get fat. They got Lucas, and I say you smart, but you stupid. No, I don't mean to talk about you. I do a little something and I speak when it's true. And if I don't truth when I honest it to you, I do a little something and I give it to you dudes. And they all know when I say it's honesty. I do a little something and you see it's amnesty. Progression and blessing, learn my lesson. It's all my pleasure in the lesson. No, okay, but no, what? Okay. What? <laughs> Ron, what can you say? Uh -oh, Ron said, the Woo! Did it, did it, did it, Y'all didn't see that. Uh-uh. Go, Ron. Go, Ron. Y'all know I'm an engineer in this month. But I'm going to spin something. All right. Yo. Yo. My phone says, it's going to be a piece of war. Bill Gates 5, 27, 5. Politics not shooting people with a clock. It's going to be a revolution. Make it a formal solution. And all the government schemes and the big delusion And we need to feed males to end prostitution Make it different for America and we need freedom Before the government start an acts of treason They use a bomb as a scheme Go to tell more lies and everything that they say But they don't realize that we are revolutionaries that had them Not to spin lyrical things to make a freestyle Talk about falling the point All you brothers do is want to join Talk about women Causing the money so what's the point to this rap game? Uh -huh, there you and there you have it. There you have it. He took it there. Well, well, well. Boom. 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 I love that. 
He said, we're going to take it back to the top. <laughs> I didn't mean to run it back. No, no. That's what you going to say. Any other tracks on here? Like that one? I remember this. This is like 15 years old. APCH, huh? Yes. A place exactly. called home. 23rd and Central. What's that? 27th and Central? 27th and Central. APCH. APCH. Yeah. Video experience up in there. I was so weak. But Baby, that ain't weak. It was cool. Come on, LeBron. You want to get on that? LeBron's like that. Come, Come on, JB. Let me hear you. A little new addition or something like that. Like I like that. I like I like that. Years old. I'm 25 now. So that was 10 years so ago. I better have progressed. And this is good stuff. I like this. You can't get it no cleaner than this. It's cool. So we need to build up our studio. Our children need photography, um, equipment. They need uh, what is it? They they need the video cameras, the steel photograph cameras, because we have a training program here. And I know the company is going to be getting some things when I'm talking to you, because we want to get our youth right around here for Wednesday's woman. I need my own crew. <laughs> so we, we need things and we ask that you support us in any way that you can to get us really rolling. We express ourselves through the artistry that we've been blessed to do and the singing, the piano playing. <laughs> it's all good. What you got to say over there, son? What, what, what? You my mom. That's why you like my stuff, all right? I need some st somebody that don't know me. I need somebody to come in here that don't know these is my beats and just to be like, yo, I just found these on the internet. What you think? And then they'll tell me the honest truth because they don't know it's me. You feel me? This one dude did that before. I brought him to my studio in Gardena, right? So I played this song and I was singing on it, right? And uh, he's supposedly a mixer, master guy or whatever. So he gets on the computer, he's like, yeah, you see this guy here? He doesn't really know how to sing. And I didn't say nothing, I just looked at him, I was like, oh, all right. He's like, you see how he's trying to hit that note? And he's straining, that's not his voice. He can't hit that note. He got to use auto-tune, he can't sing. And I was like, oh, okay, so what, what, you know, what you think he should do? He's trying to tell me all this stuff, and I'm just looking like, he don't even know that's me, yo. He's telling me my face, and I appreciated it, you know why? Because he didn't even know what it was doing. The honest truth, the best truth, is the truth that they don't know that they talking about the person that they talking about when they talking to you. You know what I'm talking about? Well, hold on. He was in your it. studio. Let me talk about it. Tell talking me. about you. Tell me about And he didn't know it was you. Then what, what you, what'd you tell him? Did you that. tell him it was you? Nah. I just let him go. You know what I mean? I never forget it. You know what I mean? When I get 800. What song was it? Because you know uh, I like his stuff. It's some song called Girl, I'm Feeling You. I got it on my phone. Yeah, I want to hear that. It's kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's whatever. It's not mixed and nothing, but... I was like, yo, this the way. LeBron, can right we there. put you know his phone like, in the system and listen to it on the phone? I mean, on the system? No. Nah. Yo, listen. Relax. You can only just play it with the mic. We'll play that. I want to hear it. Here you go.
But that's what you really can't hear the real. The real. You can it, it sound weird. You don't hear that? It sound weird. I, I mean, it, yeah. It may it may sound weird. Yeah, you can't hear it really. It but weird. I like that. Yeah, I kind of like it too. Honestly, obviously somebody didn't like it. Well, I'm gonna say it like this. So now I know some artists need producers. I mean, like some self-produced artists need producers. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? So you being a producer, you need a producer to produce you as a singer. Oh, you got something else? He's gonna try this other song. So he told me I couldn't sing, so I just cried and the rest of the night. I was planning on doing another beat and then like I just like it got to me and I just like broke down. I just cried. And then I woke up at like five thirteen in the morning and I had to catch the bus. That was a that was a lie. I didn't mean I, that didn't happen. But <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My mom over there like, Oh, I'm like, like what sugar? Okay, so <laughs> But shout out to you. Whoever you was ain't gonna put your name out there. I don't like name dropping. But so yeah, shout you out know. to you whoever told me that. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm well, saying? the point is, you know who you are. <laughs> the point is, What's you point? need to get, you know, me or someone. Well, I don't know how to run the board. I don't know how to run the board. Sometimes, if you, you have someone the in there that make you. Sing, you know, from your diaphragm or take that over. Let me hear that. Okay, that's good. But I still like the way it sounds. Guess what? What? You know how to sing. You ain't taught me how to sing. Boy, I don't have to teach you. Didn't you sing right? I don't know. Are you singing there's, right? There's levels to this singing stuff, man. You got to sing from your diaphragm. Sing for me right now. You got to breathe. You got to breathe. You can't breathe through your nose. You okay, okay. Like when you were singing. Oh, you got to breathe through your ears or something. What you, you got to breathe the, somehow. What you get off the mic? And, and you he is gotta looking do it crazy. Right. You gotta I mean, get off the. <laughs> like LeBron's class or something like that. Get off the camera. I can't have kids, yo. Jared. I can't have kids, yo. Jared. Listen, listen. You don't get it. Jared. You don't get it. Yeah. Sit back. Sit back and relax. Yeah. Now, the point of what I'm saying. You did some singing, and I've heard it, and I I, I like I like it. But you know what? So listen, this is I what I want to do. A like long I don't have confidence when I sing. I feel inferior. I feel incompetent. I feel. Well, you need to get rid of those feelings. We don't I have know, time right? for all that. That's I drama. Get the ice back. You don't need something like that. Now the point of what I'm going to say, I want Just you like. to bring your artistry. To this studio here, I can help you. What did you say? Well, I mean, you're here, but and your computer's here. Yeah, yo. Yeah, your computer is here. So, (laughs) my artist. She said, "Bring my artistry is right there." Well, I mean, you know, for like hours, so we can really start producing out of this location. Some things I need to start hearing some of your songs. So, like, take some of your. Listen, you can do it out of this studio as a um, practice studio. Okay, a rehearsal studio. I need it. I need you to bring in some of your other guys that are singing and rapping. I need need Mike. I need little Mike. I need Mike Johnson. I need Mike up in here. I need you guys to get something together. Because, listen, let me tell you. When I get ready to 
really produce produce this show and promote you guys, you got to have a tight show. I hear you. I hear you. And so I, don't know I would the logistics say of having a tight show. This you know is a saying? place By to myself. come. No, this you is know? a place to come and start rehearsing, start practicing in front of the your camera. audience of producers and engineers and and people that will start opening up and writing and and doing things for you, encouraging you and getting you prepared. Because we have to do some things to move ahead and move forward. Who's watching this right now? Raise your hand. I don't know. If you're watching this right now, raise your hand. See, nobody even raising their hand. You're the only one raising your hand because you're here. Well, nobody's Skyping. We need to know somebody's watching this. Well, are they going to call you? Tell them to call you. Yo, call me right now. Hey, what's the, what's the number? 323-965-1600. Call now. Right now. So nobody's watching this? No, they're not calling us. They're not. I don't hear the So you, you mean we're doing a live show and we have no audience? I don't believe that. Hello? <laughs> Thank you, audience. I knew you were there. You can't let a sister down. Thank you so very much. Now, we're going to turn on some more music. <laughs> because I'm, I'm going to tell you, I need to get my sons working together. I need them ready to do a performance. And if you have sons or daughters or it's yourself and you need to get ready for a performance, I'm saying come to the studio, RMC studios the one that's here in los angeles <laughs> for those of you who are local come to the studio for those of you who are worldwide somewhere you plan to be in the area come to the studio we're getting ready to do some live shows some performances some in the park some at different schools some at different theaters and we actually plan at the end of the year to take our train of artists and gifted people <laughs> to the Los Angeles Convention Center. We're also planning to go through the city and do some things. So I know we have a song on our CD called Through the City. I don't know. Exactly Shout out to Natalie Bogikian. Hey, Natalie. Sadie. Oh, and, and shall we give Yo, a shout listen. out to any of the family? Yo, listen. Now, you know, Uncle Willie's here. birthday is actually tomorrow. I know you, Uncle Willie. Well, no, you I'm met 25. him. No, I'm, you I'm, met him. Uh, I met him. You met, met Uncle Willie sitting oh, at I his met desk. You. My bad, bro. You know what I mean? Stop I met it. You. You're my uncle, man. Yes, and all, all of love. all of them were there. So we're gonna get ready to get all our love, stuff ready bro. for Uncle Al's Yo. TV station. We're Listen. going some places, and I need so, you all to get ready and get professional. So basically, what's going on right now is see, uh, this is a mother uh, shout out on to a the Wednesday's Woman group. show, Pops. getting her son. And the rest of the sons and the daughters together. And I'm calling on you. Shout out to Roscoe. If you're out there, you're interested Pitbull in getting involved, drink. getting your family together. Boy LP this right here. is the you time. You know what it is. Look it's out for his mixtape. Our children Album, need us. EPK, whatever you got. Look out this for This studio you know is saying? designed yeah. to give them a right. voice and a face One, and a that. name with a message. Yeah. So we're hoping our message messages do i hear some music in there Laurent? Nope. give me some music baby put put one of those songs on not that one i don't want that one i want another one <laughs> no deep house tonight. oh this is crazy i remember this song yeah. i produced this like 10 years ago too and then my boy chris the warriors he put the bass this is what i'm saying the baby I mean that. shout out to my my people you know say that's listen their to listen to that P.S. I just can't deal with the stress in here. When I try to do my best, I always seem to be just like the rest. I feel it burning from my chest to my toes. The stuff that I'm going through, nobody knows in my face. The pain just shows when I pray to God that I stay on my toes. toes. Going through the struggle. I wrote this hook a long time ago. That's me on the track. I got beat. Shout out to my boy. Through the struggle, said I'm going to struggle. Wake up, wake up. S-T-R-U-G-G-L-E. You're going through the struggle, but you need to go with me. That's it. 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 That's it.
Well, it's the clean version, but. Yeah, it was okay. I don't that verse, I didn't like well, it. Well, the thing, yeah, he, he was off you know a little me, bit. You know when I rap, I don't do that. But the thing is, stuff, their message, know? the story that these youngsters was telling, Isn't they were probably gospel? 14 years old. Right Isn't they were gospel? probably 14 years old. No, a this is a show. So I can bring Wednesday the homies woman. in here and we can turn up or what? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, hold up, hold up. Buy some bottles. Hold up, hold up. If you. The point is, you know, RMC Studios is a platform. We're giving our youth a platform. We're preparing to raise funds for our young people. We need things to be able to supply for our young people. I've been talking about it, and now I'm in a place and a position to make it happen. We're talking about housing, transportation. We need finances for our young people. And yo, if we over the time. And hey, yo, it's cut the show, yo. I Come want on. you all to hey, yo, know. Hey, listen, cut the show. You've been watching. We over. We over like 20 woman. minutes, yo. I don't condone that. We don't get down like that. If we get an hour, we get an hour. I, I wasn't get, keeping the time. I am. Cut the show. I want to be like right now. If I go like okay, this, okay. Well, I people to he's see cutting that, my the, show. The screen go black. I still see. The, all right, there you go.